drinking this fine right here, like Longmire. We out here in Olympia for MCs, by MCs. Holy shit, I had a whole bunch of fun tonight. Fucking awesome league, awesome scene. We'll be seeing a lot more of you motherfuckers. Uh, in San Jose, we got BOTZ, we got Patron versus fucking Peanut coming up soon. And that's like your home team against fucking San Jose guy. It's great. Shouts out to all the fucking MCs that come from 4MCs, by MCs to RIV. Shouts out to Heretic for fucking throwing this shit. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Four MCs, five MCs. We're out here getting it the fuck in in Olympia, Washington. It is my pleasure to introduce this next battle on my left hand side. Please introduce yourself. Progress. He said progress. This is not some progress, y'all. He's saving it. He's saving it. It's one of those things. It's a little trick he's gonna do. He's gonna come up here. Don't finish eating and throw stuff away. <laughs> like, yo, 
eating spoiled apples while I'm writing this shit on my old Mac. Battling me? You walking a tightrope, cause I ain't cutting you no slack. Your rhymes are basic, multi-syllabics or something your flow lack. Man, this shit got me super depressed watching how all of these pros act. Super depressed watching how all of these pros act. And I ain't playing, I mean it. They got me up here battling some dude that looks like he chain smokes E6. And yo, quit trying to act like you're too good for this battle when we both know that you need this. Before we get too deep into this shit, I just need you to understand that you do not deserve to be standing on this stage. I mean, let's keep it a buck. The only reason you even here right now is because everybody better than you already had a battle book too close to the fucking date. But here you stand. Little old progress. Well, tonight, I sure hope you live up to that stupid fucking name, because outside of this battle shit, I'm a chef, which means I ain't the type that likes serving up a mediocre plate, so you better put some bass in your voice, youngin'. Crank that shit up to 11, freshman. I'm gonna need to see some aggression, because right now, you alone in the woods with a tiger, where it's easy to fall victim to natural selection, and now that you understand exactly where you're at right now, maybe you could help me to understand what the name progress, spelled with two dollar signs, signifies. See, at first, I just thought it was stupid as fuck. And then I approached it with an open mind, and boom, it hit me. Like a ton of bricks, like a flash, it all made sense. Progress with two dollar signs. If you think about it in context, it kind of fits. If those two dollar signs represent the coins, I'ma lay over the eyes of this Norwegian-looking bitch. So if you read the when I say this song across the river sticks, cause this motherfucker out here looking like Odin, son. Got a methamphetamine, strung out on Ragnaroks and shit. Oh, pasty-ass white devil, complexion on the same level as Tyrone Bingham's lips. And you think you gonna fuck with me? Homie, that's a bad move. Cause I'll leave you holding on to these boys like fat people in public bathrooms until you put man that dig in your trash. I said to your one fan that dig in your trash, tell that motherfucker I said to your raccoon, cause you light and you suck. Type to get held up with two fingers, bitch, you a fucking auric vacuum. And you know what? That's cool. Cause this battle ain't even about you. I'm just here so dirtbag dead can see me act a damn fool, cause I'm trying to see bots like an AOL chat room and ain't no four episode. And this cat defenseless, so every punch gon' land smooth when I give him this fire. Like the end of Ron Burgundy jazz flute, and on some real shit. Yeah. On some real shit. Who came here to see a progress battle tonight? Well, who the fuck asked you? It's TSD. Ain't nobody slick to a bag of fast food. Let's go, motherfucker. Justin, 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 your whole persona screams I'm on Tinder and Bumble looking for bitches to cuddle. His profile pic is him in the mirror in a Confederate flag tank top kissing his muscles. Man, I got so much shit written for you, I might not even get to rebuttal. Shit, I got grounds for your whole team, player, and this isn't a huddle. But yo, I saw that battle where AKA was whining cause LS was hitting you with all them name flips. I'm like, yo, how are you gonna be mad about a name flip when in your slogan he's practically doing the same shit? To me, that move was straight bitch. I'm like, fuck slip talk, man. All of you pussy. Wait, 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 I said, fuck slick talk, all of you pussy, except for heretic. Shouts out to Colin, you booked me. Yo, shouts out to Colin, you booked me. Oh, man. Oh, shit, I just got gas. Run it back, run it back.
Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Like fuck slick talk, man. All of you pussy, except for heretic. Shouts out to Colin, he booked me. But really, dude, the way he was babying you, like he was trying to provide for his offspring, it kind of alarmed me. I'm like, yo, does he wipe your ass too and tuck you in every night quiet and calmly? I saw you get killed on screen. I'm surprised you're alive and responding. You're just like that tiger from The Walking Dead. Cause bitch, you both died to a zombie. Both died to a zombie. Make some noise. Make some noise. Now that ram was alright, bro. But I think you and I both know that that little bullshit ain't gonna be enough. I mean, the fact is, you suck. But you know what? After three back to back cancellations and almost ten months of stagnation, I'm just happy your silly ass decided to show up. I mean, there's something to be said about a dude who writes for a battle, even though he knows he don't stand a chance of winning. I mean, that can't go without mention. I gotta commend it. So tonight, I ain't gonna give you this L, motherfucker. I'm about to give you a fucking participation ribbon to see. <laughs> Cause seafood, I'm the seafood. I just stroke my beard and laugh at your so-called skills. Cause you are not proficient. So welcome to the cruel tutelage of Pi May, kiddo. Where you gonna learn or get your ass beaten to submission. Now that was a bar. Y'all can run a tape back and listen if that went over heads. But maybe that shit right there was just intended for the older heads. Nah, better yet, that bar was Joe Pesci. Eight heads in a duffel bag. Stuffing them older heads in an overhead. You better strap in, youngin'. Cause this shit ain't over yet. But you should already be prepared for death. I mean, use a little foresight, because if these people really wanted to see progress, boss, they could have just stayed home and downloaded fucking Fortnite. <laughs> Ain't nobody come here to see you rap, bro. I'm just being forthright, because you a fucking creepy weirdo. You look like the type to stand in front of a urinal challenging random strangers to a sword fight. Hey, fucking pedophile. Fucking pedophile face, punk boy. That's why I'm about to put an end to your short life, because you wanted to knock on the devil's door. I'm just the one who left on a porch like now. I'm about to open that shit up. Like, what's good, youngin'? You look surprised. See, nobody ever expects a dark horse. But when they see me, they put them jets to their feet. Motherfucker, that's word to Star-Lord, because ain't nobody want to square up with me. Because they know my blade will break them down just like I'm taking out the cardboard. Because my punches hit so fucking hard, they leave your body doing involuntary parkour. And you somehow got it in your feeble little mind that you was going to stand in front of me. Come on, bro. You took the tray from Trey in your first back. I'm... I've only ever taken one clear L, and at this point I'm 14 battles deep. Yeah, so this next crazy. round better be your best shit ever. I'm talking a magnificent masterpiece, because the boss I done hurt so far have only been an um. Got me out here reacting like an unenthusiastic masterpiece. And at this point it's pretty obvious that you and I are not cut for the same tapestry. So next round you got two options. Either fight back or get torn apart by a savage beast. Now what's it going to be? Team Slick Talk. This shit's gotta be super wild, of course. You look like you're about to ask Dirtbag Dan why he ain't paying your mama child support. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> why he ain't paying, why he ain't paying your mama child support. And yo, if at the end of everyone's life, if at the end of everyone's life, if God were to give us some kind of score based on all of our accomplishments and everything that we spent our time striving towards, you would get a minus four. Damn. I mean, come on, dog. Life is short. Have you ever graduated from anything or earned some kind of award? 
bitch, you out of your mind thinking that I'm shook. You're in your early 30s and you're still a line cook. Frying pork. Sushi. All of those Sushi. factors plus the way you look equals up to you dying poor. Yo, let me set this straight. If I was an employer and you came in to drop off your resume, shit, I wouldn't hesitate to grab a can of pepper spray and tell your filthy ass to get away. <laughs> Tell your filthy ass to get away. I don't care if you wanted that job so bad and you came in and asked for the manager like every day. This dude tried to diss me online. I didn't, I didn't, oh my God. This dude tried to diss me online. I didn't respond. Oh my God. Water! Yo, it's fucking hard, man. I said, I said this dude dissed me online, and I didn't respond. But you knew that probably happened. I'm just sitting back, reading this shit, just got me laughing at this cocky faggot. Like, what a reach. When's the last time you saw a pill fiend in a trailer park with Yeezys and Versace glasses? But I didn't pay that shit no mind. I just knew that I had to come with the meanest projection and speak with aggression. More than just the height, the difference between us impressing. Shoot, now you jammed up. I mean it's depressing. You should have spent more you should have spent less time talking shit online and more time cleaning the weapon. Cause this whole battle, I've been whooping your ass while your crew hang back. The only time we want to hear Tiger's style is on the beginning of a Wu-Tang track. Wu-Tang track? Yo, at the beginning of a Wu-Tang track. Progress ain't a fighter. I'm like, who's saying that? Last battle was debatable, but the other fucker flaked and look who came back. Cause bitch, you were done the minute I stepped to four MCs by Ooh. MCs. 360, ah. you live at your mama's. But mom, I'm a tiger. Justin, go <laughs> get your pajamas. <laughs> research for this battle, you were shot me a couple links to your music. And yeah, I listened to it, to be 100% honest. That shit was less terrible than it was confusing, but it did present a shit ton of questions. Like, first and foremost, what the fuck is up with that fake-ass Jamaican accent you were using? I mean, that right there is prime example. There's some ideas might sound good in your head, but that don't mean you should actually do it. I mean, bro, you was for real on a track talking about Rude boy, rude boy, you don't know any man wanna come stand in the jungle and sit on a hand man with a rum. I mean, bro, what the fuck is that? Last time I checked, it was a pale white dude from Tacoma. But I must be mistaken, so let me check my glasses right quick. Okay, okay. The Versace. Nope, still not fucking Jamaican. <laughs> you in a very conflicted situation because you're one of them social justice warrior types. Uh -huh. So I'm sure you're familiar with the concept of cultural appropriation. Uh -huh. And I just want to understand how you can scream Black Lives Matter on one hand, yet on the other, you're going to steal the culture of a nation <laughs> that was literally built on the backs of people displaced by the slave ships. Uh -huh. I mean, who the fuck do you think you are anyway? The goddamn Goya Mata Shahu? See, for that type of shit, I'm going to make these punches hit so fucking hard they're going to make reggae noises. Talking about Baku, Baku, oh dead ass blood son. How they run your nose for Ratu? That's why I'm about to put the spear in your chest like you in ritual combat with them Baku. Now run that back. Yeah. Now run that back. I said nose for Ratu and them Baku. Now let's see what happens if we smash those two concepts together like sunlight. So I'm about to leave them in a coffin looking like Wakanda forever. Now fuck that shit. Yeah. If we're gonna do an undead superhero scheme, we might as well add Deadpool to the mix and make that yeah. shit even better. Like forget the big guns in a bag. I'm about to murk this motherfucker using nothing but maximum effort. Cause he was done the second he stepped up. Four MCs! Four MCs! 60, I live in a cypher. Oh, yes. I gotta go beast on already.